as you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on the Michael Kors Mina crossbody as well as the Mina shoulder bag. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm just gonna hold them like this and talk. So as far as my experience with these bags, I did order them online, okay? And I'm really happy with the purchase. Right now it is on sale on the website. It says that this is an outlet bag. Now I haven't went over to check it out at my local outlet mall, but you know, it's outlet bag, that's what they said. Now, I want you all to think back. Do y'all remember, I guess it was about two years ago, this same bag was at the boutique, but it wasn't at the outlet. So uh, that's interesting. But the first time I saw it years ago, I was wondering it, but they were asking like 300 or something like that. The prices are really wild. That's why I always, I just wait. I just wait and watch stuff, you know, to see if it's gonna drop or either see if it's going to go to TJ Maxx or whatever. But both of these are so stylish. I like the chain that goes up the side, all of the hardware. This, I like this particular bag because it's so big and the material, uh, it looks like leather. I'll bring it up close so you all can see it in the next clip, but the faux leather. <laughs> looks like it could be real leather. Um, I'm, I'm okay with that. I mean, the, the purse wasn't expensive at all. Even with this, their, um, this material is like, what, however they make it, whatever process, I mean, it tells you online what it's made out of, but it is like built of steel. Do you all see that tote behind me up there? Man, there was one time where I was wearing that bag nonstop for like a month. I was carrying all of my stuff in it every day. It would rain. I got caught in the rain a couple times. That bag did not budge. So whatever, whatever um, you know, material or however they make that purses, it's built to last through a storm. It was almost as though the, it was made of plastic because it just did not ruin the bag at all. That bag look, still looks brand new to me if you were to see it up close. Anyway, just wanted to let you all know that. So it looks like it's a drawstring, but it's really not. It's just a snap closure. It doesn't have any feet or anything like that. If you're into small purses, hey, this might be for you. If you're into big purses, this might. It just, for me, it just depends on where I'm going, okay, and what I'm gonna need when I get there or how long the route is going to be, if that makes sense. You know, so if I need a lot of stuff, of course I need to grab a bigger bag. Um, this one comes, both of these bags, okay, this one comes in, I think, pink, black, blue, and the, that style up there, the traditional, the one up above, it comes in that color, it comes in the lighter color. I don't know if you can see the third row, but anyway, I have a, another row way up there. You know how the, it has the dark brown, then it has the light. It comes in pink, blue, black. You just have to go online and remember check everywhere you know i always tell you all to check 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 shop around to get the lowest price okay so anyway yeah i think that that's pretty much it i'm gonna go into my next steps and um go ahead and get out of here so don't forget let me know you know what you think about the purse if you like the purse if you're gonna get the purse if you if you if you love it or if you could care less about it let me know down in the comments i'd love to hear about it Thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget the, the rest of the video.